Hey there tubers. Today's video is going to be on the 100 hour service for the CT2025. I've had this tractor for exactly two weeks to the day and I've already got 100 hours on it. So uh, I'm going to do the 100 hour service today and it's uh, pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, it's basically a bunch of inspections. Uh, nothing really needs to be changed or or anything like that but uh, you start up here at the front and uh, you're basically checking your battery connections making sure that uh, the battery's in there securely so with this bracket and everything and then you just chase your uh, wires around make sure that the, there's no breakages or anything like that bring it back to the starter and uh, it's really a, a simple uh, inspection there the next thing would be uh, pulling the air filter out so we'll uh, pop this open here and then uh, you'll want to check and uh, see if that filter is plugged in any way there's uh, three clamps here so We'll get through those, pop that off, and then you've just got the single element. I wish uh, they offered a dual, but they don't. And mine looks uh, perfectly clean, looks almost brand new, like I've hardly used it. So I'll just put that back in, I'll put the cover back on, and then uh, we'll carry on here. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got that back on. Then you move back here to your alternator fan belt. And you're checking in between the uh, pulley and the alternator on the left-hand side of the tractor. And what you're looking for is 15 pounds of pressure pushing on that, and it should deflect between 0.28 and 0.35 of an inch. So basically, a third of an inch which isn't much deflection uh, and what I'll do here is I'll put a tape measure in here somewhere um, and try and get it set up to put about 15 pounds of pressure I don't have a a scale but uh, you know just using my finger I can get fairly close to about 15 pounds of pressure and uh, see what the deflection is here and I'll be right back. So basically what I've done is just put a tape measure in here against the belt on the other side and then because I'm holding the camera I can't quite show you but I put pressure against this uh, belt on this side and it looks like it's uh, deflecting almost a full inch so that's uh, more than it calls for so what I'll do is I'll Break these three here and here, and we'll uh, tilt that alternator out, tighten the belt up, and uh, I'll get it within uh, specs here. All right, so I got that uh, tightened up. Apparently, Brutus at Bobcat uh, works on the alternator line also. Those uh, bolts were extremely tight, but I got them free. Um, this upper one is a 12 millimeter, the lower one, is a 14. Got those broke free and then was just able to pull this back by hand. Didn't have to pry it or anything. Um, and I got the belt to the right specs here. Uh, it is fairly tight uh, from what I'm used to. Uh, a third of an inch isn't much play in a belt but uh, that's what it calls for so that's what I set it at. And uh, we should be good to go and able to move on to the next thing which uh, like on the 50 hour every 50 hours they want you to check your free play in your brake pedal um, basically you're pushing on the pedal till you feel resistance and that should come up uh, 0.8 to 1.2 inches so basically you're shooting for uh, one inch of uh, free play here um, and then I just take a tape measure, stick it down on the floor, bring it up to this, 
push it in and see what it's at and they're calling for the same procedure on the clutch side but what's interesting is they're only calling this inspection on the clutch side for the manual transmission tractors uh, this is a hydrostat still has a clutch and from what I would think would uh, operate exactly the same as a standard transmission um, so I don't know why they don't have you do this inspection uh, on the hydrostats but I'm going to do it anyway just to show you and uh, see where this one's at it calls for the exact same amount of play 0.8 to 1.2 inches as the brake pedal so you're doing the exact same procedure and then if it needs to be adjusted you'd come under here and this turn buckle right here is for the clutch there's a similar one on the other side for the brake just but bust these nuts loose and crank this uh, the direction you need to go tighten it or loosen it so it's a pretty simple procedure and what I do is I just take the tape measure pick a point down here see where it's at on the pedal and then uh, put some pressure on there unfortunately uh, that's a two-hand job and I can't quite hold the camera and, and do that at the same time but I'll check the distance and free play on this and uh, on the brake side and I'll be right back all right so uh, the clutch here came in at uh, three quarters so 0.75 which is pretty close to the minimum of 0.8 um, so I'm not gonna mess with it now especially since they don't call you out to uh, do it on the hydrostats for some reason but uh, if I did I'd come down here these are uh, a 19 millimeter just break those free and adjust it a little bit and it won't take much considering the, the leverage it has clear down here so uh, just a little bit will make a big difference up here and I did check the brake side um, I did it 50 hours ago and it hasn't changed so it's still at the one inch so I won't uh, mess with that at all either so from there um, one of the things that they want you to do every 50 hours is check the uh, torque on the wheel bolts. The front ones are 57 to 67 foot-pounds and the rear ones are 144 to 166 foot-pounds. And I'll uh, put a torque wrench on those and check them again. They were fine before and I'd I'm going to say they're probably fine this time, but uh, I will give them another check and uh, then we'll move on. All right, so those checked out fine. I'm guessing that Brutus also works in the wheel department because uh, they didn't even budge. So I'm guessing they're probably more than spec or at least at the very high range. But your next thing is to grease the tractor. And you got a Zerk at the front and the one at the back is on the other side of course but you got two grease circs there to uh, grease your axle pivot and pretty much other than there is a couple grease circs on the top link and on your uh, three-point adjustment but other than that there is no other grease circs on this tractor one of the other things that they call for at the 100 hour, which this tractor doesn't have, and if it did, it would go right in here and there'd be a bolt on each side, is a spark arrester. If your tractor's got one, they want you to take the bolt out, pull the arrester out, and clean it. Uh, but this tractor doesn't have one, so there's no need for that. And then pretty much the last thing is inspect your fuel lines. So basically you trace it. This is the fuel tank back here. And there's a line coming out there. You just trace those lines. There's a return all the way back up to the engine compartment. They come in through here. 
and around and come up to your fuel pump. Just check all the connections up here at your fuel filter and just the overall condition of everything. And mine, other than the paint now peeling off, looks pretty good. So uh, the 100 hour is pretty simple, pretty basic, and shouldn't take but just a few minutes to do. And uh, you're good to go to your next uh, 50 hours where you'll check the wheel torques again. And then uh, after that, your 200 hours coming up. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.